All right, so in this lesson, guys, we're gonna go over the two different kinds of Facebook Lives, right? So basically you have social interaction and then you have to the point. A social interaction is gonna be something where, you know, you're going live and people are coming on and you're giving shout outs to everybody that's coming on and trying to get them to do, you know, hashtag live, hashtag replay or hashtag whatever it is that you want them to do, some kind of call to action, right? And in a social interaction, you want to make sure that you're calling out all the people that are coming on. You know, so what's up, Joe? What's up, you know, Sharon or whoever it might be. Uh, and you're going to make these like a really kind of fun, uh, engaging type of live. Like, you know, you're interacting socially with the people that are in your group or uh, on your page or wherever it is that you're doing your live video. You're just basically uh, doing a social interaction with those people, the people that are joining you live. The other kind of Facebook Live that you will be doing is a to the point, right? So a to the point is whenever you're gonna be trying to teach something or maybe sell something um, and you wanna just get to the point. So when you put your description, it's gonna be, you know, in this video, I'm gonna talk about X, Y, Z, whatever it is. And then in that video, you are gonna stay on point and to the point. You're not gonna give shout outs to anybody that's coming on. You're not gonna be, you know, basically trying to get anybody to do any kind of interaction unless you're trying to sell something you know in, in which case you'll have a call to action at the end of the video right but basically a to the point video is gonna be something where you're teaching something or you're trying to make a point about something but you're not gonna actually you know interact with the people that are coming on live uh, and the reason that you want to do this is because when it's a to the point or an instructional video something like that you want to just make sure that when people are watching it or if they're watching the replay, it's not filled with, you know, a bunch of pauses where you're, you know, oh, hashtag live, hashtag replay, or what's up, Joe, what's up, you know, because what will end up happening is when you're doing those, when you're doing these kinds of lives where you're actually trying to teach something, uh, you'll get distracted, right, and you can lose your train of thought. So just remember the two different type or two different kinds of Facebook lives. The first one being a social interaction where, you know, you can be teaching stuff in those as well but you're really more paying attention to the people that are coming on, trying to get them engaged, trying to answer their questions, those kind of things. And then there's the to the point, which again, you're coming on, you're talking about one thing, you're staying on target, and you're gonna stick with it all the way until the end. And then at the very end, if you want, you can always add like a Q and A, um, you know, section, I guess, at the end of your video, or your call to action. So if you're trying to sell something, again, you're gonna be talking about the product or whatever it is that you're trying to sell, right? And then at the very end of it, okay, if you guys wanna buy it, let me know, or comment below, or whatever, you can do that at the end. But the uh, but the to the point videos, guys, the most important part of it is just to make sure that the very first part of the video is always to the point. Like whatever it is that you are supposed to be talking about, you are talking about. And then social interactions are just coming on, talking about whatever you want, and then as people are joining, you're saying hi, you're asking them to comment below, or hashtag live, hashtag replay, all that kind of good stuff. But those are the two different kinds of Facebook Lives that you guys wanna be doing. Just remember to kind of keep them separate because you know a social interaction is definitely one that you wanna um, you know, use to help engage your group, but your to the point are the ones that you're gonna be using to get people to either you know purchase something or, or learn something from you. So those are the two different kinds and we'll see you guys in the next video.